Hi, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to configure either channels. Simply put, either channels are when you take more than one physical interface and you combine them together, you join them together to create a logical interface. So you can pretty much take a couple of fast Ethernet interfaces, bundle them together to give you more speed over one logical interface. So you take a couple hundred meg links and you can make them look like one logical interface combined together to give you more bandwidth across. So in this video I'm going to be using GNS3 just for the topology purposes. I'm not going to be doing any configuration inside of GNS3. So I have two switches here, switch 2 and switch 3. They are real Cisco 3550s and I'm going to be configuring real either channels, real interfaces to configure either channels on these two switches. I have switch 2 FA016 and on switch 3 the same thing too. So first thing I'm going to do is check out the interfaces. I'll do a show run interface faster than at 016. By default, you can see here that the switch port mode is set for dynamic desirable and that they are shut down. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this behavior. We're going to add some configuration under the switches, under the interface configuration mode for the fast Ethernet ports. So what we'll do here first on switch 2 we'll do the command interface range and the interface range command allows us to specify a range of ports instead of actually having to go under each interface itself and apply the command what we can do here is configure an interface range which allows us to to allows us to put one command and apply it to multiple interfaces so it's a great tool especially if you have a lot of uh, ports to configure all at once so here we'll do interface range 16 our interface range FA0-16-18 so 16, 17, and 18 are now going to be inside that range. First thing we're going to do here for either channels is we're going to use the channel group command. This command is going to allow us to specify what either channel number we want to set this up for. So again, this is, this is from switch 2 to switch 3. We'll use channel group 23. And the next statement here is for the mode and as you can see here we have different modes of either channels we can create we have lag P or PAG P or we can just have the either channel on by just using the on statement so what we're gonna do here is the big difference between lag P and PAG P is that lag P is the industry standard either channel mode where PAG P is the Cisco proprietary 